Welcome back to the channel, everybody. My name is Mike the Baladonis, and I buy and sell cars as a hobby, and I bring you guys along with me, showing the pros and cons of each video that I buy. Now, eight months ago, I bought a 2002 Toyota Camry, 2.4 liter, XLE with just under 225,000 miles. I had a friend named Jim that was interested in looking for a vehicle like this, so I went and I went looking. It took me a couple of weeks. Jim is a type of guy that he wanted around 100,000 miles, 110, 120, somewhere around there. And I said, listen, these cars are bulletproof. If you can find one that is well taken care of, I think you should look into it. So he was still on the fence of that, on that. But in the meantime, I found one. I found one with the 225,000 miles and it was just a couple owner car. It was five miles down the street. And when I went to look at the car, the guy named Sal, super nice guy, he was able to take care of it and fix it for uh, and himself. You know what I mean? He did it in his driveway. So he saved the ton of money. He just got the parts offline, fixed everything that I needed. So let's read the list of what he did in the two years that he owned it. And while the other reason is because of the maintenance, the car is rust free. I'm in the Boston area and finding a rust free car well, that, that has its challenges, right? So this was a plus. This is the other plus of his two-year ownership. He put brakes and rotors, radiator, struts, wheel bearings, sway bar bushings, valve cover gasket, exhaust, axle shaft, oil pan, motor mounts, coil packs, and the car came with a remote starter. Now, I got a great deal on this car. And I was able to have my friend Jim come down, take a look, he fell in love. He took it for a ride, the miles, he was like, I'm impressed. With 225,000 miles, this car rides, it feels good. The car is very clean, like I said, rust-free. It does have one dent, it is fully loaded. So let's talk about some of the options this car came with in 2002. So it does have the sunroof, it does have the 2.4 liter engine, it has the power seat, the sunroof, it has pinstripe, it does have aftermarket wheels. It has the rear window shade. Jim actually put rain guards on. And, and Jim's favorite, a cassette player, CD. He likes things old school. And with 27 miles per gallon with that walnut trim interior, bucket seats, how can you go wrong? The car is the nicest, ugliest car I've ever seen, if that makes sense. 2002. Camrys are not known to be very pretty, but with the wing and the wheels and I don't know, I just think it's a good looking car for what it is. And, I, and Jim was happy, he, he was really happy. He had it for eight months, he put 6,000 miles on it, but he has to upgrade, he had to get an SUV. So let's talk to Jim, he's a man of very few words. So let's hear what he has to say. Okay, so this is the 2002, Toyota Camry that I bought from Michael here about eight months ago with 224,000 miles on it and now it has 231,000 miles. I uh, had to do a few things to it. Um, I replaced the four um, coil packs and um, a starter only because the solenoid went and when the solenoid goes even though the starter is good it has, it's all one unit. So I replaced that and then I put new tires on it and that's it. Been running great ever since. It has all the little toys from 2002 that I like: cassette player, CD player, electronic dash, power seats, and you know all kinds of things that you'll see in the video. And uh, I'm moving to uh, get an SUV. That is my reason for selling this, and that's the only reason. It's a, it's nice. No rips, no tears, no rust. It's clean, and that's that. Would you still buy a, a Camry with 231,000 miles? Absolutely. When you have records like this, always well-maintained, rust-free, no brainer, no brainer. I will buy these cars all day long and they will sell all day long. So would you still buy one? 231,000 miles, folks. Yes. That's today's video. Updated from eight months ago, 6,000 miles, only those few little problems, coil packs, when you buy them cheap, they're gonna go quicker. Buy quality 
coil packs. That's a tip. If you're gonna get gaskets, get good gaskets like the oil pan, get for the valve cover gaskets, get, spend a little extra money so they don't keep leaking. That's the problem with this particular car. The guy did really maintain this car very well. He did, but he bought the cheaper parts. And when you do the cheaper parts, you know, you might have to do the job twice, you know? So that's, that's the thing about the cheap parts. Buy quality parts, folks. That's all I got to say. All right. Okay, so I have two more car videos coming up soon. My 2005 Mini Cooper S, I was having a problem with a check engine light. We figured it out. It should be done next week, so that should be coming up. We'll talk about that. And I just bought a 2006 Toyota Avalon from the original owner, and I'm going to go through all that, and that will be an upcoming video as well. And you do start seeing, well, you have been seeing short videos, short little one and a half minute, one and a half minute videos about my friend's shop, uh, European Auto Solutions in Hudson, New Hampshire. They work on my cars, and since I'm near, waiting for the car to be fixed. I'm always filming. I might as well make short little video clips of what they're doing for the day. So those are some cool little shots. Check them out. And Dave, I want to appreciate, I do appreciate you helping me out all the time. So Dave at European Auto Solutions, thank you very much. And to everybody else, until the next video, ball us out.